Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is Amy Lizzie. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lily. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. You always come back stronger. Yes, you always come back stronger every single time that they knock you down. Every single time that they knock you out, beloved, you always come back bouncing back stronger like nothing ever happened. Mm. Like nothing ever happens. <laughs> Beloved, you were knocked down. You were like you were like knocked out, like totally out. You were completely gone and you were struggling and finding your way right back to your position. And it felt like it was so hard, though. Like it felt like it was really, really so difficult. Yes. You know, God will always allow some situations to knock us and to test our foundation. And indeed, your foundation was tested. Yes, God tried you. Yeah, you tried. God tried you. God tried your patience. God tried your works. God tried your, your determination. God tried your love. God tried your peace. That's things that made you thick. Things that made you great were the very things that you know, encountered challenges and you began to ask yourself if indeed you were doing the right things. If indeed you were like focusing on the things that really matter to God because it, at one point it felt like perhaps you're going astray because things were just crumbling in your life. People were turning against you. Situations, some situations were backfiring. Um, things were like moving how you had anticipated it was a constant, you know, fighting, doubting, doubt ain't coming into it. You know, things just felt like so different that, you know, when you are creating something, you create some things with determination, with strength, and with that enthusiasm. And at, and at one point, sometimes it feels like you made a very big mistake. Imagine that you're getting married and you know you're that oh, this is my kingdom spouse and everything is just going so great. Before you realize, you begin to face challenges in that relationship where you begin to ask yourself, Lord, did I hear you well? Was this woman my woman? Was this man my man? You know, beloved, you listen. God tried your relationship. God tried your marriage. God tried that career. Yes, God tried. Listen, God will always come to test the, our things with fire. The truth is that whatever that he establishes, no gate of hell ever prevails and conquers. No, without him intervening and saving it. God saved a situation in your life, not because you made an effort. It's because he, because he, he knew the foundation. It's because he had a solid foundation on your behalf. So he could not allow what he established in you to be destroyed. Mm -mm. He had already told you that the good work that he had started in your life is going to accomplish it. Hallelujah. It's going to perfect all that which concerns you. And that was why some things in your life, in your life were tried. And they stood the test of time. They stood the test of time. Some things totally crumbled. But now I see them germinating once again. A relationship died. I see reconciliation taking place again. Oh my God. I see someone going the wrong, that someone was going to the wrong direction. I see God redirecting you. Someone was frustrated and giving up. I see God giving you reasons why you should continue living and continue to move. Someone was completely living discouraged. I mean, there was no smile. There was no light. But I see God, you know, bringing back that light, bringing back that, those smiles, bringing back, you know, raising you up more than, more than you know, even stronger than before. Beloved, those things were tried. And you were, you know, Jesus, you know, cast down. The word of the is cast down, but not destroyed. Cast down, but not destroyed. Second Corinthians 4 verse 8. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. 
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Always bearing about in the body, in the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also in Jesus might be made manifested in our body. The life that was in Christ. Listen, the life we live is not ours, but for us to live is Christ. Hallelujah. For Christ in us, the hope of glory. Some things, things that, you know, Christ went through tribulations, trials. Some things were destroyed. He was tested. He went through all manner of things. His purpose on earth wasn't easy, but he always hoped for the better. And the better kept, kept coming. He was always, he knew his assignment. He knew there's going to be trouble. And indeed there were troubles. But he overcame those troubles. Hallelujah. It has been the same with you, beloved. You've gone through a whole lot. A whole lot. People that you trusted turned their back against you. People you trusted backstabbed you. Some people that you trusted didn't really refuse to let you go because they had an assignment. They had an agenda to destroy you. They planted some traps for you. Dug some pits for you to fall into. Even poisoned you. They poisoned you, but you survived it. Hallelujah. For you shall drink of deadly poison. Hallelujah. And you shall not, you shall, you shall not die. You shall trample upon lions and upon scorpions, and no harm shall befall you. Glory to God. Instead, things kept turning around. They kept drinking their own blood and eating their own flesh. The people kept, those who came against you, kept falling into their own very pit that they dug. They kept falling into their own very traps that they set. Things turned around. Glory be to God. There were some people were, were, were stationed just to monitor you. I mean, any good thing that tried to come towards you, they make sure they block these things in the, in, in, in the spirit. But God is saying to this moment that even though they blocked those things in the spirit, they did not they didn't cease those things. They did not cease those things. They just tried to preserve those things for you by thinking that they were blocking some things for you. And now that you know Angel Michael had released those things from the Prince of Persia, glory to God, now you are bouncing right back like nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. God, God said, even though the year was so difficult, even though he went through those difficult situations, he was just preserving you, even though it was hard. He was just preserving you for the appropriate time. It was really so hard. So, so hard. But he kept on encouraging you, to letting you know that he's with you, regardless of what you are going through. Your foundation was indeed strong. Your foundation was indeed sure. Your foundation was indeed built on the solid rock. You are that church that the God has built. Hallelujah. And the gate of hell could not prevail. The gate of hell could not prevail on that business, on that career. Yes, God allowed them to tempt you. Wasn't Job tempted? But he was, he recovered all. Some of you went through like it's been all about the season of going. It's all about going through the season of job. People looking at you, making mockery of you, and they were like asking you, "Are you are you sure you're still the real God? Why would the God whom you serve allow you to go through those kind of situations? They they had even commanded you to curse God and to leave. You know, to to, to give up on the things of God because you know you were going through situations and it felt like help was not coming no matter how hard you prayed beloved listen nothing can separate you from the love of god is it trials persecutions temptations listen these things are just coming towards us this moment at a given a given time to test us not to consume us but to test our faith in the lord to you know to, to prepare us for our next level to, to, to you know to, to give us a, a, a passage to a glorious future Hallelujah. If you've not been tested, most of you are doing so great this moment. You can it's because it's, it's, it's because you have been tested and, and you passed your test and you moved to your next level. Hallelujah. There is no life without difficult moments. And when those difficult moments come, when those difficult seasons come around, beloved, you get to you know just be stable and finding out what God what God is doing and or where He's He's taking you towards. Or taking you to when you overcome those challenges. Hallelujah. 
Now you can, some of you have been, you know, you have recovered and now you are living a balanced life. Healing has taken place in that situation. Healing has taken place in that situation. And that is why you're bouncing back like nothing ever happens. Yes, you're bouncing back like nothing ever happens. God, mm, if God doesn't permit something to happen to you, it won't happen. If God allows some things to happen against you or people coming against you, it's because there is, he has seen something that he's trying to save you from or he has seen a place, a higher place that he's trying to take you towards. So he will allow them to throw stones at you, to, to you know, to, to trigger you, to mock you, to disgrace you, to ridicule you, whatever. Listen, you are higher. You are higher. Those who have faced great challenges in this life are those who have made it so far in life. For real, people just see your glory, but don't know the, the stress that you've gone through. People just see you shining. They do not even know the pain that you've endured, the disgrace that you've endured. They, they, there is time for everything. Life is not consistent. It's not constant. There is up, there is down. There is light, there is darkness. There is this and there is that. We are constantly battling Physically, in, 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 internally, people pretend it's okay to cry when you go through situations. It's okay to cry when things happen, when things bad, when bad things happen to you. It's okay because your crying is your processing the pain, your processing the, the the darkness to come out of it. And it's all because at the end of the day, as you process your pain, your challenges, your your difficult moments, there's, there's always going to be that light at the end of the tunnel. That light. Someone has seen that light and is functioning in that light. Some of you have seen light this season and you're functioning in this light this season. Glory be to God. Cast down but not destroyed. If it weren't of the Lord, if it weren't of the Lord, you would have been destroyed. But God had to confirm that your foundation was sure, was solid. And that was why everything crumbled. But you are rising up again, picking up the pace and rising up again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. See you in the next video.